if you are considering a stay at Flamingo in Las Vegas, then you need to watch this video. We're gonna take you around and show you everything that this hotel has to offer. Now, before we get started, I just wanna ask that you hit that like button and consider subscribing. That'll really help our channel grow. Let's get on with the tour. Over the last few years, I feel like every time we've stayed at Caesars Properties, we were almost forced to check in via a kiosk because they didn't have people working at the front desk. Last night when we checked in, I found that to be very different. They had a lot of front desk agents and people were actually going to them to check in as opposed to going to the kiosk. So that was a nice thing to see when we checked in last night. Welcome to the Neapolitan Suite. When we checked in, we asked for a complimentary upgrade. We didn't try the $20 trick, just asked for the upgrade. And originally we were booked into a go room and got upgraded to this Neapolitan suite. Now this is in the spa tower, as are the go rooms. And let me tell you a little bit about this room. It's 700 square feet. When you first walk in, you come and on the side there is a secondary bathroom. It's just a half bath, but it serves a nice purpose here. You come into this living room area and you have a sofa, another little chaise lounge overlooking, on our case, it is the Las Vegas Strip. We also have a very large desk and a coffee table. And then you go into the bedroom and it's sort of like your standard hotel room with the large king bed and uh, some seating and a pretty large master bathroom off to the side. Has a bathtub and a shower and two sinks. Now everything in this room is decorated to match the whole flamingo theme. And of course it's called the Neapolitan room because behind me is a wallpaper that has Neapolitan ice cream kind of colors. So it's sort of fitting, but you will see decor throughout the room and paint colors that totally give off the flamingo vibe, including these desk lamps behind me that are completely flamingo. So it's a lot of fun. Now, if you are staying in a go room, it's gonna have much of the same kind of characteristics and coloring, but if you stay in a flamingo room, that is in the Habitat Tower. Those are the more recently renovated rooms. So you're gonna get a bit of a fresher feel there, but again, it still has that whole flamingo decorative vibe to it. They are small as are the go rooms at 350 square feet. So we appreciated this upgrade. However, I will say though that the spa tower rooms, this particular room has some wear and tear in it. I'm not sure when it was last renovated, but there are a lot of nicks in the furniture. The carpet's kind of ripped apart in places and it does need some TLC. Let's talk about the restaurant options here at Flamingo. So you have Bugsy and Myers, a steakhouse. We've actually eaten there. It is great food and a really cool environment. Now behind me is Carlos and Charlie's. Now maybe go get a drink, it might be okay, but we've eaten there a few times and every single time the food has been a miss. So I wouldn't come here to have lunch or dinner. Now Margaritaville is another restaurant option here and they do have good food. It's a really cool environment as well. So I do recommend going there and trying that out. Other than that, they just have a grill at the pool they have a couple of coffee shops and they have a food court that you can choose from a variety of sort of fast food options. So not a whole lot going on as far as restaurants. Flamingo doesn't have a whole lot of food options, but it is attached to the Link Promenade. And out here, you're gonna find places like In-N-Out. They have Jaw Burrito, pizza, Mexican food, American food, barbecue, a lot of different things you can choose from. We are actually going to head to Maxi's. Now Maxi's has breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but they are known for their breakfast, so we're gonna take you inside to have a look with us. I ordered an egg Benedict. Now, this is what an egg Benedict looks like. It's insane. So this is a brioche loaf, and it has bacon, hollandaise sauce, a poached egg, tomatoes, and spinach. So it's kind of like an, it's open inside of the, the loaf. So that's like where all the egg and the spinach and all the stuff goes. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this bread with the little egg and hollandaise sauce. Try it out for you. Mm. It's different. Very good though. Yummy. Now Enrique ordered a country fried steak, so of course I have to try it out for him. Mmm. 
crispy and the gravy on top of it is so good. It's very yummy. All right, we're gonna finish this up and let's continue on our tour. Although there aren't a lot of food choices at Flamingo right now, they are making some changes coming soon. So behind me is the Bird Bar. They're actually gonna convert this into a Gordon Ramsay burger. And Lisa Vanderpump is actually gonna take over the poker room area, and she's going to have her new place called Pinkies. Very cute name and fitting for the Flamingo. Now, they're also bringing in a new Starbucks, and one that I'm really excited about is Havana 1957. Now, they have location in Miami that we have been to a few times. It has really good food, and I'm really excited to try it here. Flamingo has sort of your run-of-the-mill casino for Las Vegas with about 870 slot machines and 55 table games. They do have a decent sized sports book as well. Now the one cool thing about Flamingo, and this is kind of more with the older hotel and casinos than opposed to the newer ones, as you're walking down the strip, you can actually see the action from the sidewalk. So kind of open doors, you can see in right as you're walking down the strip itself. So the casino has all the table games and the slot machines that you might want and it gets really lively here in the evening. They have four shows here at Flamingo so you can watch Pip the Magic Dragon. Now he was from America's Got Talent. They also have RuPaul's Drag Race. Wayne Newton is still performing here and they have the X Burlesque Show which is a topless review. There are several bars here at Flamingo. Some of them, like the Flamingo Social behind me, are just the kind that you come, sit down on a bar stool, play some video poker, and get a drink. They also have a Bugsy bar and the Lobby bar that are similar. They also have a sports book zone that is like a lounge type of bar, as well as the Bird Bar. Now, they also have a newer speakeasy called the Count Room. So I'm interested to see what that looks like, but it was closed when we went over there. From 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. daily, you can come out to the wildlife habitat at Flamingo. It is free, you don't have to be staying here to see it, so I do recommend even if you're not staying here, you come out here because where do you get to see flamingos in Las Vegas, really? So they have these flamingos out here. They're not always here. So sometimes if it gets too cold, they will keep them inside. They actually have a heat lamp going for them right now. But in addition to the flamingos, they also have some ducks in the pond. There's koi fish and other birds and animals. So you can come out here and take advantage of the wildlife habitat. Get yourself out of the casino for a little while. The Flamingo has a great pool area. It's broken up into two different pool areas. Now you have the Go Pool. That is a 21 and over pool area. There is no cost to get in, but once you're inside there, you do feel like you are at a pool club. There's loud music going on, some waterfalls, lots of drinking clearly. They've got a lot of day beds and cabanas. It is the fun place to be. Now you also have the beach club pool area. That is your family friendly area. They have waterfall, water slide, lagoon areas. That's also a very fun place to be. Now, if you are looking for a quiet area, you're not really gonna find it here, sadly. Now, even if you are at the beach club pool area, the family friendly place, you're still gonna hear the loud music from the go pool because they're right next to each other. One of the benefits to staying at the Flamingo is that there is a monorail station right here. So this gives you additional transportation options if you wanna get up and down the strip. The Flamingo's in a really great location. So you're right across the street from Caesars Palace and Bellagio. You have the Horseshoe and the Link right next to you. And then you are on the Link Promenade, which has a bunch of shops and restaurants and some of the best of the people watching that you'll find on the Strip. I wanna hear what you think about the Flamingo. Have you stayed here before? What were your thoughts when you did stay here? And after watching this video, would you stay at Flamingo? Drop a comment and let us know. Now, if you're looking for a dirt cheap meal in Las Vegas, I want you to watch this video here. That's all we have for you today. We thank you for watching and see you next time.